How you guys doing? Excellent, excellent. I see you got, you got some books there. What, what are your books? Bibles. Your Bibles. Why are you carrying your Bible? Ah, because you use them in, you, you use them with Miss Jamie and you got to bring your Bibles. Excellent, excellent. We're going to have to give Miss Jamie a star, you know, <laughs> pop it right on there. So very good. What's so special about the Bible? Okay, I've got mine here too. What's so special about the Bible? What? It has stuff. It's got stuff in it. That's true. That's true. What kind of stuff? God stuff. Okay, so it's got all the parts from before Jesus was born and all the parts after Jesus was born till he died. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Anything else special about the Bible? Tells us about all the stuff about God and Jesus, okay? Huh? It's a Bible. It's a Bible, okay? All right. You might have heard it called God's Word, right? So, no, you've never heard that? Oh, maybe we take half that star off of Miss Jamie then. I don't know. So, yeah, okay. And, and is, is the Bible just one single book? No, it's, it's, it's 66. 66 books? All that? What's that? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there's 66 books in here, okay? Now... 66. I, that's why it's so thick, right? Okay? And, and you, you have it broken down into the Old Testament and into the New Testament, right? Okay? Now, what's so special about, what's so special about the New Testament? What? Whenever Jesus was born in the ah. New Testament, whenever, what it did whenever he was born. Okay. The Old Testament was before he was born to Mary, right? And, and the New Testament talks about after he was born to Mary. All right. So out of those 66 books, I'm going to really test you here. Do you know how many of those are in the Old Testament? How many are in the New Testament? What do you got? Twenty-six in the New That's really, really close. There's 27. Okay. So that is awesome. You guys are incredible. All right? There's 27 books in. What, what are the first four? Can you give me the first four? Go ahead. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and the fifth one is Acts. That's awesome. That's awesome. You can do them all. Fantastic. We're, we're going to hold on that, though, okay? All right? Because that might take a while to do tw all, all 27 of them. But that's fantastic that you can name all the books of the New Testament. That's wonderful. Well, do you know that if you go to, to Timothy, 2 Timothy. Huh? That's not your name. <laughs> you have a guy named Timothy in your school class? Uh, all right. Well, the second Timothy, okay, in, in the third chapter, in the 16th verse, okay, it says that, okay, that's Titus. All right, there you go. Second Timothy chapter 2. All right, that's chapter 3. So one more page back. All right, verse 16. All right. We good? Okay, that's verse 6. So we want to come down into chapter 2. Where's chapter 2? All right, so 16 would be right there. Huh. Oh, t my bad. I meant chapter 3. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, all right. And so... So, see what it says? It says, all scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Now, why, why is that important? Well, if you finish the sentence, it says, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. 
So what's that say about this? Is it a good thing? Yeah. It's a good thing. All right? It teaches us everything we need to know for what? For God. For God to do every good work. Okay? Everything that God wants us to do, this will help us learn it. It's a very, very important book. Okay? And so, so I am so glad that... that Miss Jamie is showing you how to use it and, and showing you what's inside it because everything that you learn in this book is going to be useful. Okay, it's going to teach you. It's going to, it's going to help you walk the path that God wants you to make. And so I encourage you to listen to what she has to say, but even better, read it at home. And if you can get your parents to read it with you and then talk about it, oh, man. That would be awesome. All right, you think you guys can do that this week? Not really. What do you mean, not really? You don't know where it is. Oh, well, that's your job. Okay, I'll tell you what. If you can't find it this week, I will get you another one. Okay? All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's pray. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for giving us the Bible. It's your word. It's the way you talk to us and, and, and tell us everything that you need us to know to, to, to be one with you and, and to share you with, with the whole world and, and to do everything that's good. And, and, and wow, Lord, that's just incredible. So... So, gracious God, help us this week. Help these children this week, all right, to, to not only listen to what Miss Jamie has to say, but, but to take that home and, and to read the Bible and, and, and then even talk to their folks about it to, to say, Mom, Dad, I don't understand what this means or, or I really like this and what do you think? And, and just help those conversations to get going. Thank you, God. And all God's children said... Amen. Amen. All right, you guys can go on back.